Hello and welcome to the first SR Hobbies product spotlight video. First up on our product list, we have got ourselves the SR Hobbies articulated dumper. This has been 3D printed by us, top to toe. That's everything from the bucket to the wheels. As you can see, we've got the tipping bucket there, and also we have the fully articulated steering, just like the real thing. Now this model is the unlit version, but there is actually a lit option. Now the light would be just there on the top, and I'll flip it over, just show you where the switch would usually be on the lit option. So, if you pop over to our website, the link will be in the description, that is the articulated dumper. Moving on, we have our corner planters. Now the planters just look like this when they come in the pack. So, we'll just pick up the pack here and give you a quick look of what they look like inside the packet. So that's them there, nice and colourful as you'd expect. Now, I'm just going to pop these out of the packet. We'll just skip to me having it done. There we go. So that's them just coming out of the packet now. Now, as you can see, we have got ourselves three parts. That gives you two corners and one straight. So as you can see, the plants are already fed into the planters for you straight from the back. Now we just pick one of these up and that will let you see the embossed brick effect. And it also gives you a quick look of that finish that you get with the terracotta infused PLA. So that is just plastic with the terracotta powder just put in there and that allows it to, as I say, have the correct look and feel. As you can see there, you're getting yourself essentially half a square, so if you buy two packs, you could get the perfect amount just to go around say a fountain. So, as again, link in the description. Speaking of fountains, next up we have the Flower Planter Fountain. Now, this is made of real concrete PLA, so roughly just like how the real terracotta works, you have yourself some plastic, grey plastic with concrete powder just mixed in. This gives it the correct look and feel. Now, uh, as you can see out of the packet here, we have uh, the fountain there and it has all of the plants already fitted, just like our corner planters. So that's how it looks there. As you can see, it just has that concrete finish and believe it or not, it has that concrete feel as well. Perfect for sprucing up a part of your layout. Once again, link in the description. Next up, we have our whiskey barrels. Now the whiskey barrels here are just an absolutely great addition to any part of your layout. Now we usually put them outside of our little pub that we have. Um, they can also do as a perfect load. So. As you can see here, this is them out of the packet. We'll just pick one of these up. So I'll just give you a quick close look at it. So we've just got the, it's just plastic, brown plastic PLA and black plastic PLA just printed in those layers. Now, as you can see, it comes exactly like that. No construction required. Once again, sticking by the mantra of, it is how it looks. There you go. And we've got eight of them in the pack and that's what you will receive. So here we go. Just a quick better look at them. And that's them. Link in the description again. Next up, staying on the theme of whiskey barrels, we now have our whiskey barrel planters. Now this is exactly the same as the whiskey barrels, but instead it's like they've been chopped in half. Now obviously we've not actually chopped them in half, they've just been 3D printed like that. So as you can see there, that's what you're gonna be getting in the pack, that's all of them. Um, in just a second, I will be picking one of these up and just giving you a quick look at it. So there we go. Just like the other flower planters, the flowers come fitted into the planter itself. This is just a, once again, it could look good outside a pub or just in any public setting, just to give it that extra colour and a little bit of a spruce up. Next up, we have our IBC tanks. They come in a pack of three as seen here. Now, once again, this is how they look in the packet and I'm just going to pop them out of the packet for you. So there you go. Now, the IBC tanks actually do come as separates, so we'll just let you see that in just a moment. Okay, so that's the IBC tanks there. Now they come just as they're seen here. They actually get printed in the white and the grey separately, with obviously the grey being the cage. Now we're just going to pop one of these out just to give you a quick look. There we go. So you do actually get the uh, 
the tank separately to the cage. Now this is just in case you want to say spray the cage another like a brighter silver or if perhaps you're looking to take the tank itself which I'm holding now you just want to take that and just make it look like it's half filled or something along those lines just to give it a more genuine look or if you want them to be weathered such like and so forth. So once again the link will be in the description for those. Next on the list we have our concrete bollards. Now these have actually been out for quite a while but we just wanted to give them a quick spotlight because we're really happy with them. Now as I say that once again that's how they come in the pack and this is just how they look outside the pack. So you're getting quite a few in the pack there and they, they stand up really nice, they look really good, that's what they look like close up. Once again they've been made with the concrete infused PLA, now that just, as I say, gives them that finish, gives them that feel, makes them look just exactly how you'd expect a real concrete bollard to look. So that's them there, uh, as I say you're getting quite a few in a pack and they just look perfect, it's just around certain scenes, just to give it that more of a realistic touch. Moving on we have our realistic hay bales, now we've had these out for a little while as well we just wanted to give you a closer look at them so if you've ever thought about buying them we'll uh, let you see what they're like so they stack really quite easily um, they look really good we feel like these are perfect for a farm scene they go really well with any farming equipment that you may have on your model layout or diorama now these, uh, as everything else in this video, these are 176 scale and as you can see there, the detailing on them is really good. So you can see all the fibres and hairs there just to give it that realistic look. So if you're looking for these, link will also be in the description for them. We feel, as I say, perfect addition just to any farm scene or on your layout or diorama. Keeping in the theme with hay bales, um, we now have our much newer rectangular hay bales. Now, once again, these have the same realistic look, just to give you the uh, the most realism for your layout as possible. Now, once again, exactly the same as the other ones, except these ones are rectangular. We feel like that will give you a better variety, or if you have a baler that is just it's specific for making rectangular bales, it also makes it easier for stacking and makes another perfect load for you. It goes on absolutely brilliantly. Now, we're just going to stack four up here and that will just let you see what it's going to look like so we'll just pick those four up now and just give you a quick look you'll have to excuse the awkward hand position that I use there we go, we'll flip them over so there you go, they stack up really nicely look great on your layer or diorama, perfect addition we feel Next up we have our 16 yard skips, so once again this is what they look like in the pack, just give you a quick look there. Now they are coming as two in a pack for the price that you're paying for them. Now as I say that's them there, we'll just pop them out of the pack. There we go, right so here we have them here, just show you one of them. So as you can see we've got that detail on the outside of the skip. Now if you really wanted to, to give it that little bit extra weathered look, you could paint the inside and you could possibly even add a little bit of weathering to the outside just to make it look a bit more realistic. Now we have done some skip lorries for these as well, but they are by request only. If you head over to our Facebook, you could ask us about that if you would like. Now these do really well with construction sites or possibly even if you've got a recycling centre or if you've got a landfill or anything like that you might just find that these would be perfect for that and just spruce up that little bit of your layout that just needs that extra detail and you feel like these would be the thing for you. Okay moving on we have our ring chimney pots. Now these have been out for a little while but we just would like to let you see them a little bit. So here we go, this is just one of them there. Now as you can see it's got that ringed look on it. It's quite difficult to show you them between my fingers but I'm trying my best. Um, so that's them there. Now usually we're using these as replacements for the Metcalf ones because usually those are just bits of paper or card that have been rolled up usually around a paintbrush and we find that they get broken off too easily and once they're broken off it's just a pain to try and make more or fit more. These are a straight out of the bag, straight on the top of the building type thing. 
Next up, we have our small portable generators. So you're getting two in a pack. They do come in two options, that's red and yellow. We've currently got the red ones here. Now, we're just gonna give you a quick look at the detail that's on these. It's difficult to even show you on this camera, but it has got all of that extra detail in there, and these are coming pre-painted for you. Now, these are resin printed, so there is a little bit of fragility to them, but overall, they're actually really quite sturdy. Maybe a bit sturdier than most people would expect. These pair perfectly with, say, a snack bar or somewhere that you feel would use a portable generator as their power source. Next up on our list, we have our resin printed cement mixer. Now, this goes perfectly with any construction site that you've got. So, here we have it here. As you can see, there is an awful lot of detail on these. Now, I, I mean that in obviously a good way. Now, we've got that. Uh, as you can see, we've got the wheels there. Uh, you've even got the little handle for turning the barrel. You've got everything in there, all the lines and details that you would expect to see. Now, once again, you're actually getting two of these in the pack. So we feel like that would be really great for any construction site that you've got. Now we've got our rubbish bags that we've just started selling. Now these are resin printed in black. So as I say, with the resin printed items, you're just getting that little bit extra detail. You're getting that extra fine details in there that you might not get with other products. Now just showing you there, it does come with three types in each bag, so you're getting three of three. So there you go, we've just shown you the small ones, these are the slightly taller ones. And then we've got the tall ones, but they've not got the little edges down at the bottom on them. Now just to show you what they look like off of the sprues, there's one. Now obviously these are quite dark, it's difficult to see the details on the camera. But I assure you, it's got the, even got the little ties at the top of the bags and everything. There you go, there's just a few of them together, try and give you a better idea of what they look like. They've got that kind of satin finish, which also pairs perfectly with them being made of plastic, like the bags themselves. Next up, we have our Transit Crew Cab Cage. So this is just exactly how you'll receive it here in this grey colour, it's actually printed in that colour. So that's it there. Now, as it being a resin printed item, it's got all of the finer details that you would expect to see on one of these. Now it's also got obviously the mesh that's there as well, it's quite a strong mesh, it has a bit of flex to it but it won't break. Now obviously with it being the transit crew cab cage it should fit into a transit crew cab, so yep just pop that in there and that's exactly how that's going to look. I'll give you a quick twirl around just to see how well that fits. Now the eagle-eyed among you may actually notice that I didn't quite put it right in at that back bit there, and there it goes. Okay, so as I say, perfect fit. It's actually quite a tight fit, so it's really good. So if you're picking that up, it's not just gonna fall off and all of the stuff inside is not just gonna fall out. Now with this being a resin printed item, a lot of people associate resin or resin calf, resin printed, with not being as strong as other items. Now we obviously want to prove that this is not the case, hence the scales and the weights. So there's one, that is two kilograms. Now we're just gonna pop another one on there that being four kilograms and it was at this point that I ended up realizing that these scales are actually only rated for five kilograms which causes a bit of a problem because now you can't see the total it should be around about nine kilograms with it being four one and a quarter weights and two two kilogram weights so we're just gonna pop all them off and well pretty much just get those useless scales out of there because they weren't really serving much of a purpose due to the fact that they couldn't go up to the right weight so let, yeah, let's just pop those weights there grab those scales and away they go. But what we're going to do is I'm just going to grab myself that crew cab cage again and we're just going to pop that down in front of us right now. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is just one by one just pop those weights back on top there. So we'll just count it up, that's two, four, five and a quarter, six and a half, seven and three quarters, and nine. So there you go, nine kilograms. Quick picture here just to let you see, there you go. 
now I'm just going to pop all the weights off. I must admit, I made a little bit of a mistake here. Um, I did end up taking the crew cab cage out of view. That was my bad. Uh, the weights, because of the blue colour, had left a bit of blue dust on it. But that is, in fact, the same cage there. Now, we're just going to take that and show you a little bit of an example you can do and how some of our products will actually pair up. So if you take the crew cab cage there, now obviously as we said before it fits into the transit crew cab done by Oxford Diecast. Now if you've got on a plain white one of these or even if you've just got it as a standard network rail or stobar rail, you're probably going to want a little bit of rubbish in the back of these. So we're going to take our line side junk kit that we've got, we're just going to pop that onto the screen here in a second. There we go. So that's it there. Uh, as you can, as you got a quick view there, there is window frames, a couple of settees, a uh, single seater as well, just a few bits and pieces that go well as just line side junk. Now what you're going to want to do is take your crew cab cage like that and just drop everything that you're wanting in. We're putting in a sofa. We're going to take a couple of our window frames and pop them in there, and maybe just a plank of wood as well, and just a dishwasher as well. Take your crew cab and flip it over, put the cage in, and there you go. All of that rubbish that you wanted in there is now resting in the back of the crew cab itself. So that's that there, just give you a quick spin round view of how it looks. And then we're just gonna pop the cage back off again. So we'll just get it up to the camera, and we'll just slip that off there, and then that'll just give you a quick view of the junk as well as what you're getting in there. So that's just exactly how that'll look. So thank you for watching the very first SR Hobbies product spotlight video. I really hope you've enjoyed it and if you have give us a quick like and a thumbs up if you've really enjoyed it and uh, maybe give us a quick subscribe and if you do subscribe to us just hit that little bell button and then you'll get a notification in your email just letting you know every time we put up a new video. If you liked any of the products in this video you will find the links in the descriptions that will take you straight to our online shop. If you pop on there you could sign up to us there and then you'll be in touch with us at any time you want and you'll also get notifications when new products come out. Once again thank you for watching the video and we hope you watch the next one.